Uber has more than 70,000 drivers in the UK. These are the faces of a few of them. Each face is unique. And thanks to modern technology, each face is now a password that Uber can use to authenticate drivers and ensure its rides are safe. We come to work every day to pilot, test and launch new technology solutions. Real-time ID check is the latest technology example in recent years, Uber has had problems with drivers faking their identities. Real-time ID check is the company's response. The Uber app regularly asks drivers to submit a selfie before logging on. The driver can choose whether the selfie is verified by a human or facial identification software, which compares it to a photograph on Uber's database. The problem is the software sometimes makes mistakes. Imran Raja says he was fired by Uber after the verification software failed to recognize his face. It left him and his family without his income for three months. Without any knowledge, they revoked my license and second month I'm going to go on the street with my family because I haven't money for the pay, the rent and the car also. So it's, they broke my everything, by, they broke my future. On the 2nd of October, Uber informed Imran it had been unable to verify his identity for a second time and had decided to terminate the partnership. Imran insisted an error had been made, but Uber reported his dismissal to Transport for London. On the 21st of October, TfL wrote to Imran and told him it no longer considered him fit and proper to be a taxi driver and revoked his private hire licence with immediate effect. A month after firing him, Uber told Imran it had finished its review of his case and would not be taking any further action. Imran could re-access his account, but couldn't work because he'd lost his licence. It took TfL another two months to reinstate it. Has Uber said sorry? They, they told me nothing. Has it offered you compensation? Never. Imran isn't alone. Abdul Qadir Ali told us he too was dismissed by Uber after failing the real-time ID check in December. Uber says his account was deactivated because he submitted a photo of a photo in violation of company policy. Once again, TfL revoked his licence and he is now registered for Universal Credit. The first ID is a good idea, what they've done, but I mean the system make mistake. I lost my job and I lost my licence. The Face API technology that Uber uses for its real-time ID checks was developed by Microsoft. Two years ago, in an interview with ITV News, the president of Microsoft said facial recognition technology has great potential, but also serious limitations. One of the current challenges with it in its current state of development is that it doesn't work as well for women as for men. It doesn't work as well for people of color. It's more likely to find an error. It's more likely to find a mismatch. It's more likely to fail in identifying you. It's more likely to identify you as somebody who you're not. I mean, the psychological effect of being accused of fraud is devastating. Many of Uber's drivers are from minority ethnic groups. This union says seven members have been fired after Uber's identification software failed to recognize them. It plans to take legal action against the company. The issue is how the technology is applied and how it's governed. So while we have a workforce here who is being discriminated against, being denied their rights, the protections are simply not there and Uber is not in the position to govern it properly and apparently neither is Transport for London. I say to Microsoft, suspend the use of it. The beautiful thing is they can recognize these changes and ask the driver to remove their sunglasses or retake the photo. Microsoft wouldn't tell us if it has any concerns about the way Uber is deploying its technology. A spokesperson said that Microsoft is committed to testing and improving Face API, paying special attention to fairness and its accuracy across demographic groups, and that Microsoft provides customers with detailed guidance to help them assess fairness in their system. Uber wouldn't tell us how many times its real-time ID checks had failed to identify drivers since it was introduced last April. In a statement, it did apologise to Imran for his experience, but insists the mistake was down to human error. In the statement, Uber said no tech or process is perfect and there is always room for improvement. But the company ensures there is a minimum of two manual human reviews prior to any decision to remove a driver and that the process is fair and important for the safety of our platform. Facial recognition technology is impressive but imperfect. Those who have developed it are transparent about its capabilities, its limitations and the need to understand both if a system is to be fit for purpose. John Hills, ITV News.